Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon the Ultimate Adventure and we are here with a problem because my janitors have just gone on strike. They have stopped working and the zoo is likely to fill it with trash. Is it because I didn't have enough money to pay you? We had we hired the best of the best janitors. We've actually gotten along with him and like danced with him with his broom in the past. I can't believe this is happening. I mean he is a level 3 star 3 janitor so maybe he knows he is the best of the best and wants to be respected as such but what is going on oh my gosh and there's a new challenge with an orphan animal our janitors are on strike our guests are bored we have an orphaned animal there is so much going on okay janitors on strike let's handle this really quickly we're gonna go ahead and give a hefty bonus probably more than the janitors will expect and it will probably put an end to the strike right away or we can do a decent bonus uh to appease the janitor's anger and shorten the strike accordingly you know what he is a level three uh he is actually like a level three janitor and we've danced with this man with his broom maybe something's going on in his life maybe his husband or wife or whoever he has at home is is really struggling and he's putting his foot down because he keeps this place spotless and it deserves respect so we're gonna go ahead and end the strike boom the janitors are good to go. The strike has come to an end. The guests are bored. We have to build an entertainment scent, like spot for them right freaking now. Go, 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 go. Entertainment, entertainment. Can we do the balloon shop? Can we do, oh, the macaw keeper's ready. Yes, okay, I really wanted the macaw keeper uh, because we're gonna say the macaw keeper is actually holding a rescue macaw. And we're gonna go ahead and put her maybe over here because I want her near uh, yeah, we'll put her over here. I want her near the zookeeper station. There we go. And we'll go ahead and connect her over here. There we are. And I want her near the bush grove because this bush grove actually needs to be renamed because this is our very special owl tree that our guests can come and check out. There we go. Because we have the sooty owls up in there, which is fantastic. And we are not going to be releasing a cinnamon. She is our only level 15 animal. And we have an orphaned alpaca. Oh my gosh. Okay, we will take care of that in just a second. Let me actually check. I think the only other animal that may possibly... Wow, we've really grown this place. That could possibly be good to go is Arctic Surprise. Yeah, our chrysanthemum platypus, but she is actually only level 13. So yeah, we're gonna fail that challenge, but it's not terribly a big deal, I think, uh, because we just don't want to get rid of cinnamon. Um, and then the orphaned animal is an orphaned baby alpaca that has been rescued from the wild and needs a zoo to adopt and look after it. There is no adoption fee for this animal and we get a reward for doing so. Well, I think that that might go well for our wonderful alpacas we have. Uh, yes, we lost that challenge, I'm sorry. Because we have been trying to breed Cupcake and Mona and Hercules, and they are not having any of it. Like they are just not, there's no babies being born, there's no interaction between them. However, I think that's because they still don't feel that their social need is really being met and they want to have more alpacas. And now that I know, I can actually check uh, on this exhibit. Hmm, how do I do it again? Like this? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, there we go. I can actually have six animals in this exhibit, which I had no idea about because over, what? I can have six bears? How many bears can you have here? Three? You mean I could have baby bears born here? I just feel like that's such a small exhibit for bears. Oh my gosh, but apparently it can happen. Uh, oh my gosh, and there's a new challenge because there's sick animals happening. This is just so much. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and adopt the baby alpaca. It's the Surrey alpaca, I think? No, 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 it's actually this kind of alpaca. Which one is the one who's, is it Dominic who needs rescued? Like how do I adopt the, donated animals. Oh, there she is. Her name's Pandora and she is the little alpaca who actually needs a home. We're going to go ahead and adopt her. 
There we go. We have adopted the baby alpaca. She shall hopefully be, oh my gosh, there we go. We finally unlocked the bear. Yes, the Kermode bear is unlocked. We have got banded mongoose. I saw so many mongoose when we went to Hawaii a couple years ago. It was kind of amazing. Um, and we've also got a whole bunch, like the, the small outback is finally unlocked. We've got rocks for days. We have the alpine small rock, the bark bound scratching post, triangle plaza. We have got so much more stuff that we could be researching. We can upgrade the feeding stations. Look at all of this. The breeding center can be upgraded. The zookeeper center can be upgraded. The toilets can be upgraded. We have the internet. <laughs> All right, our zoo has uh, received an award as well, and there are some sick animals that need to be taken care of. So there's a sickness going around in the animals in your zoo. You need to make them all better. Pick up medicine in a buggy at the zoo entrance and get it to them fast. Oh my gosh, okay, that has to be like the thing that we do immediately. Okay, buggy at the zoo entrance, buggy at the zoo entrance. Oh, 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 right over here, guys. Okay, I think it's like, get down here and then call the buggy. And then, I think, like, call buggy. Uh, oh wait, start race? What? Um, what is happening? I have to go on a race? Where am I going? Okay, no, no, keep moving. Keep moving. Get in here. Steer, accelerate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have two minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Why won't they let me? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's my, it's, okay. How do I, how do I take care of the animals who need help? Oh, we have to land over there? There's a buggy race going on? You guys. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing and ridiculous all at the same time. What is going on? I have to get over here to get the medicine to my animals? This is so cool and so ridiculous. Okay, beep, 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 beep. I'm coming through. I have to get to my boa constrictor. He needs help. Oh my goodness. Do we have more? We have more. Go guys, go. Go guys, go. I can't believe this. A buggy race? No one told me there was a buggy race because this is so... <laughs> I love it. I absolutely, I am living for this right now. This is amazing. No, 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 keep going. Keep going, get back in there, lady. This is amazing. I had no idea there'd be a little buggy race. I have no idea how I'm gonna get over there in time. I think we're about to fail. Crud, why did I not build more paths? I was like, this will be a nice scenic location. Mm, nine seconds left. Did it! The animals are feeling great. The medicine has worked wonders. And we just raced in our buggy. That was so cool. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Oh, look, and there's a capybara. I got so excited, I like flew into the sky. There's a capybara icon. <gasps> yes. Taking a picture of that. I absolutely adore Capybara. That was amazing. That was so amazing. I can't believe we just did a buggy race. That was really, 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 really cool. Uh, all right, but that was amazing, guys. Yeah, I can't kind of, I just can't get over that because that was just ridiculous. So let's look through some of these things. Okay, Lindsay, our community manager says, it's a great day for us. Our zoo has just received the Fame Effort Award. Of course, all the credit goes towards our awesome staff, but they wanted to thank you all. You are the reason they work so hard every day. My goodness, Lindsay. And then we, she is talking about how we adopted the new alpaca, how we have Isabel, the wonderful, happy Topi antelope who you could visit in the dashing grasslands. Uh, and we adopted all those baby antelope last time too, which is really fun. What do our guests want a picture of this time? The city owl. Oh, that's really cool for the local newspaper. Okay. We can actually manage that really fast. So let's come over. Wow. Look at how big we've made everything. I am so proud of all of this guys. We've worked really hard and we have really made our very first zoo something special. Hello lovelies. There we go. How are you? Yeah? Gosh, they're beautiful, aren't they? 
All right, and the newspaper loved that, and we have finally caught up with all of the challenges they have been throwing left and right at us. Whew, which gives us a second to go ahead and come over and get the internet. Let us come over to advertising and start researching the internet because we're definitely going to need that. And with so many animals, I definitely think we need to hire more staff. So who's the best? Alex is the best staff. I don't care how much they cost if it means that we, yeah, they're fully trained. Um, and then we're also going to hire, okay, we'd have to train some of these other staff. Do we need to repair anything? Okay, the facilities needed a little bit of repair, and we can upgrade. <sighs> okay, I think we're okay there for now. Uh, but I did actually want to upgrade the Macaw Keeper, because I feel like I want to rename this to uh, Wings of Flight Rescue Show, so that they can have a rescue show that talks about how uh, how macaws are very complicated. You shouldn't just adopt them willy-nilly. This is just beautiful. This is just very beautiful. I can interact? <gasps> this is so cool. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. I really love this. I really love this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Because I want more fame, even if it will cost more fame. I want people to know that they should... I'm, I'm going to upgrade it all the way, even. Oh my gosh, and that was so cool. <gasps> Giraffe topiary! Large grasslands! Hoffman's two-toed sloth! What to pick first? Oh, that's so exciting. I just wanted to upgrade it with the Wings of Flight rescue show. Because I really wanted to give the best I could to our rescue macaws. And while we're at it, can I upgrade this small lake? Um, I kind of, I kind of want to rename it. We're going to rename this little lake to like Blue Jay Retreat because I still love the idea that all of the birds flying around are, well, not those green ones, but all these blue ones are like the blue jays that I have been rescuing from the Alaskan forest and like hand feeding. So they're used to me. Uh, so let's actually see. I want to upgrade this, even if it costs more to maintain as a result. And let's finally spend just a hot minute in our research category and let us add some research to maybe exhibit maintenance let's add research to research so that we can let's let's do that because that will lower our research cost and hopefully we can lower our research time in the future so let's start there so we can start streamlining our research phew all right, well, with all of that going on and with our guests still to entertain, I think it's time to finally get ourselves more bears in the bear exhibit. Uh, it's already set up more, well, it's set up for alpacas, actually. <laughs> but we can actually get the Komodi bear, which is uncommon in the area. The guests will appreciate it. I think going with the bear theme of trying to adopt all of the bears that we can in the zoo would be a good idea for us. So let's go ahead and do some research. And the Komodi bear. So once we get that one adopted in, maybe we'll get a male and female of that one as well, because maybe we're starting to become somewhat known for our bear research. And let's also set it up. We're gonna need to replace, let's do a meat feeding station. And then we're also going to need to change the enrichment icon or the enrichment area. And the bears really love the scratching post. And I actually love this peeling pine scratching post. So let's do some research on that really quickly. Like it's so cool looking, isn't it? Look at that. That is such a cool looking scratching post. I would love to see some baby bears climbing up and down that. So let's come in and adopt a new Kermode, Kermode Bear, Juliet, oh, that's a beautiful name, and Victor, we could have Juliet and Victor, I think we can only afford one or the other right now, let's go ahead with Juliet, there we go, and now she will be added in, we can probably get Victor in just a little bit here, but I'm gonna wait just a minute, there, all right, Julia, welcome, 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 and I just noticed Julia, hi! We're gonna learn more about Komodi bears next time too, but I just noticed that we're about to lose out on this magazine of Sooty Owl. I thought I did. Didn't I? I could have sworn I took a picture of the Sooty Owl, didn't I? 
Do I have another challenge for another city owl? Uh, was it not good enough? Oh wait, wow, they just really wanted more pictures of my city owls. Okay, well, all right guys, we have rescue macaws. We just got our very first Komodi bear. We're beginning to put research into research. We have access to the internet and things are really clipping along here. I am so excited. Now we have another challenge for more pictures for our website. Gosh, I mean, maybe I should take over Lindsay's job while I'm at it. Uh, at least I won't put up clickbait articles. But all right, if you guys would like to join more of our zookeeping adventures, do please consider subscribing and if you could toss a like to leave uh, well maybe to you know get one of the fallen feathers of our city owls and appreciate their beauty and i will see you guys next time bye bye